Sworn into a new position, one woman is getting back to her roots. KX News' Adrian Oglesby tells us all about the woman behind the job. Did you know that Native tribes have their own tribal courts? The courts are empowered to resolve conflicts and disputes arising from the tribe's jurisdiction. Tribal courts are courts of general jurisdiction with broad criminal jurisdiction. Here in North Dakota, the state has no jurisdiction over the activities of tribes in Indian country. I would say that the issues are universal from what I saw in practicing. I've practiced in Nebraska, South Dakota, and North Dakota and in all those areas, as well as tribal court, the issues across the board seem to be alcohol and drug related anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I, I was practicing up in McKenzie County for many years, um, uh, back during the oil boom. And I would say, had it not been for drugs or alcohol, I wouldn't have seen 95% of the people that came uh, through that court system. So it's very similar as to any other court mm -hmm. and we take it as serious. Meet Judith Roberts, newly sworn in just this week as the Associate Chief Judge at Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. Originally from Australia, Roberts has been serving in various tribes for 14 years. From the beginning of law school, I have been very interested in Indian law as it's called. I took multiple uh, courses in law school kind of took that path into it because it absolutely fascinated me. I didn't grow up in this country and uh, just that whole topic really fascinated me. And so I kind of uh, started my legal career practicing in tribal court upon graduation. She says her goal and initiatives moving forward are to be a support to her team, serve the tribe, and uphold the tribal code and the law. And to ensure that everyone gets a fair day in court, as is their due, and uh, just to be there and, and be a part of their judicial system. Tribal policy impacts all members of the reservation. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe is committed to protecting the language, culture, and well-being of its people through economic development, advancement in technology, and education. Reporting for KX News, I'm Adrian Oglesby. The reservation covers 2.3 million acres throughout South Dakota and North Dakota. Roberts tells KX News it's an honor to serve the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe.